Welcome back to New York City, everyone. My name is Todd. I'm the founder of Outfit, and you're back for another one of our nine-minute core workouts. If this is your first time, welcome. Here's what's about to happen. We're gonna do nine movements over the course of nine minutes, so one every 60 seconds. You're gonna be working the whole time, or as much as possible, and I'm gonna be working most of the time, but I'm gonna stop early every minute. I'm gonna show you what the next station or the next movement's gonna be, and that way, hopefully, you can have some seamless transitions. If this isn't your first time, welcome back. Either way, do me a favor. We have, um, I'm sorry, subscribe to the channel. We have workouts just like this one every Wednesday, every Saturday. Um, we are working on building a stronger core in 2022, and hopefully, you'll come along with that journey. All right. We're going to be starting about less than 60 seconds. A lot of our moves are based around a hollow body position, so let's actually talk about what that hollow body position is. We'll talk about the first movement, and then we're just going to hop in and get going. So for the hollow body position, most important detail, I'm thinking about keeping my lower back flat on the ground. Legs are straight, heels together, quads flex, uh, arms are going to be overhead. This is my hollow body position. Our first movement, or our first station, is going to be a tuck hollow hold. So it's going to be this hollow, except the only difference is I'm gonna have my arms down by my side, but this is gonna be a 60 second static hold in this position. All right, let me get a clock going here. <clears throat> we're starting in 10 seconds, and we're gonna be starting with this tuck hollow hold. We're going in three, two, one. Here we go, all right, nine minutes. The goal for this is no breaks. Seeing if you can work the continuous nine minutes without taking a break. I'm way, way, way less concerned about how many reps you could do and then take lots of rest than just trying to see, can you keep your core engaged for nine minutes without taking breaks or very many breaks because we're trying to build up that strength and that endurance to teach you how to keep your core engaged and it becomes more instinct than when you're not doing this type of workout but you're doing other types of workout um, or you're just living your life. You're 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go. All right. So, you're gonna try to not take breaks. If you have to, that's okay. Count down three seconds, count down five seconds, and then go back in. Just try not to wing it. Try to manage your rest. Okay, you got about 10 more seconds. We're gonna be doing some tuck crunches next. So for that, I'm gonna have my shins up now, and then I'm just gonna be crunching up and relaxing, crunching and relaxing. Two, one, here we go. Shins are parallel, arms are by the side. Crunch and relax. Crunch, hold that top position, and relax. Good. So, this is a little bit of a challenging movement. After the static hold we just did for 60 seconds, did that on purpose. Good, you're 20 seconds in. Keep going, try to not take breaks. Try to keep the movement relatively continuous. Doesn't have to be super fast, just try to keep it continuous. You're halfway there, you're 30 seconds in, you're 30 seconds to go. Good, stay with it, you got 20 more seconds. Crunch and hold and relax, crunch and hold and relax. 15 seconds, you're still working. Next up is gonna be some scissor kicks, all right? So, gonna be on the back still, legs are gonna be straight now, arms by your side still, and then we're just gonna be going up and down, and then up and down, scissor kicks. Here we go, let's go ahead and switch. Most important detail is that you keep that lower back flat. Don't let it arch, 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 arch up while you're doing these kicks. Pulling that belly button down into the ground. Arms are by your side. And then some big kicks here. Good, 15 seconds in. Whew. All right, 20 seconds in. If you need a break, three, two, one. Back to it, that's what I mean by counting down, all right? You're about 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go. Good. All right, keep going with those. Keep going with those. You got about 20 more seconds of these scissor kicks. Next up's gonna be arch up. So now we're gonna be rolling onto our stomach. You're gonna be thinking about reaching forward and reaching back with those uh, arms and legs, contracting up and relaxing, contracting up and relaxing. We're gonna switch just a few seconds. Uh, three, two, one, on your stomach. Arms overhead, feet behind you. Pulse and hold, come down, good. Come up and hold, and down. One or two seconds at the top, and then back down. One or two seconds, good. All right. So, every other day that I record, it's either nice and sunny in New York or it's raining. Just that time of the year, it's raining right now. Sorry about that street noise. But, it's better than the weather we've had. 
so I'll take it. Kinda gotta get through April before things get a lot better, weather-wise. All right, you're still doing those arch ups, Robert. We're 20 seconds in, I'm sorry, 20 seconds to go. So, you have about 15 more seconds of arch ups. Next up is gonna be our single arm plank. Always a favorite for everyone. So, wide feet, one arm's gonna come up, and you're gonna hold that position. If you can't do this, you can do taps. Taps, take it nice and slow. Either way, here we go. So you're either in your single arm plank, holding that, we're just gonna do 30 seconds on one side and 30 seconds on the other side, so not bad. Or, you're doing some shoulder taps. The point's not fast shoulder taps. The point is nice and slow and controlled. We're trying to develop the strength and stability, coordination, to be able to stay on that one arm. So that's why we want nice slow ones. All right, you got three. If you're gonna switch sides, if you're doing single arm, two, one, go ahead and switch sides. So now we're 30 seconds on the other side for that single arm plank. Otherwise, you're still working on those alternating shoulder taps. Nice and slow. Good. Keep going there. You got about 15 more seconds, and then we're gonna be going into some plank ups. So, for the plank ups, you're gonna be starting on straight arms, down to your forearm, pressing up to straight arms. And we're gonna be doing that in five seconds. So we got plank ups in three, two, one, here we go. Lower, press through your right side. Lower, press through your left. All right, press through the right. Lowering, pressing through the left. One side, your dominant side, your right side for most people, is gonna feel way easier, and you're gonna wanna bias towards it. So, you gotta really mentally focus don't just bang them out on the side that feels comfortable, but make sure you're alternating. You're 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go for these plank ups. Good. For me, the left feels so unnatural. Sometimes I actually skew towards that side to try to get a little more comfortable. You got 15 seconds. After that, we're gonna be going into um, just a plank. So we're gonna be holding a forearm plank. We're gonna be going in about five seconds. Forearm plank, three, two, one. All right, here we go. So here's our forearm plank. Keep those hips up. Don't let them sag, 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 sag. Don't let that happen. Get them up, squeeze your quads, squeeze your glutes. Nice tight core. Just gotta go to your happy place for these static holds. Thinking happy thoughts. I like banana pancakes. That's what I like to think about. I can't eat banana pancakes, but I like them, so. It's even more fun to think about it, I guess. Let's see, where are we? Yep, about 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go. Halfway there, you are looking good. We only got two more stations after this. Well over halfway. How many breaks have you taken? None? One or two? The goal is none. Not every day is perfect. And honestly, not every workout is the same difficulty. It sometimes varies based on the order. 10 seconds, we're gonna be going into some bike reaches. Legs are gonna be straight, up. Drag your finger up the legs and come back down. Here we go. So legs straight, you're dragging your finger, reaching for those toes, coming back down, up and down, good. Sometimes when you're trying to figure out rest, you can also count reps. So I might go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good. Three, two, one. Same thing, counting reps. One, two, good. So you get the idea. You're 30 seconds in, you're 30 seconds to go. We're getting through these pike reaches. You got 90 seconds, you're gonna be done for the day, all right? 90 seconds, stay with it. We're switching to our last station in about 15 seconds. Last station is gonna be still in that pike mentality, but we're gonna be doing some pike raises instead of pike reaches, what's that mean? All right, hollow body in this lower part, hands by the side, up, back to a lower hollow. Here we go, switch. Lower hollow, arms by your side, up, and then forward, up, and then forward. Good, all right, so you're 10 seconds in. At this point, you got 45 more seconds. Can you do this without stopping? Woo, 20 seconds in. Looking good, looking good. Let's do it, come on. I know here it's cold out, it's gray out, it's 
getting hot in here. I got sweat running down my face. My core is on fire, but I want to end this nice and strong. I want to end it strong. I got 20 more seconds. What is that? Seven more pike raises, six more, 15 seconds, five more, four more. Here we go, 10 seconds, three more, two more. Last one, three, two, one. Woo, all right, mama. My core is on fire. I hope that yours is too. If you got to the end, no breaks, great work. Super challenging to do that. You're doing a great job. Like I said, we put workouts like just like this one every Wednesday, every Saturday. Consistency is important. If you do these twice a week, the whole video start to finish is only 11 minutes. You are gonna see results. You are gonna feel results. So go ahead, give it a try. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notifications. You got this far, do me a favor, like the video. With all that being said, my name is Todd. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna see you at a workout sometime soon. Take care.